Hi, this is Jared from Shunome, and today I want to talk about uh, dumbing down models uh, in 3D views and how to clean up your um, your visuals. So, first step, big caveat, what I'm about to show you, the very first thing you do is a save as of your model, because we're going to do some things that are a little hard to undo, and that's okay, uh, because the idea here is you're about to present to a client and you have a rough model um, and you just want to show them specific things and one of those things you don't want to show them is materiality you want to just make it all clean because um, for instance if looking at these objects here this stone might be just a total stand-in and those boards are wrong um, and you want the material in your model as you develop it and think about these things but you want to be able to talk to the client, say, about the existing society or the location of the wall or um, how the composition of the windows work or, or massing or, or whatever. You don't want to have discussions about materials yet. Um, building materials, fortunately, offer a great solution. One thing you can do is um, you know, select all your building materials and just change what the associated surface is. Um, so let's say we want to make everything this model uh, this color. Um, I'm going to hit OK. Once I hit OK, this is not undoable, so we're basically corrupting this model. Uh, but you'll see everything that had a, in a building material assigned to it now has uh, just a dumb, like the same color. The surface of this mesh uh, has a custom surface on the top, so if we undo that, you'll see that it's um, been you know, it will follow that logic. Uh, objects, however, like these doors and windows, retain their uh, surface colors because those aren't uh, building material based. They're um, still linked to surfaces. Uh, previous to 17, you could have done this using an um, .aat file and replaced all your uh, surfaces with um, surfaces that have the identical uh, surface color and no say, associated texture, but that's also super heavy-handed. Um, if you go this route and you, say, unify all the 3D um, color, you know, 3D qualities of your building materials, you can slowly undo that, too. So we can go back and say, um, our siding should, in fact, be... Um, this uh, Garapa wood, and now, oh, I chose the wrong thing, but you can see now this material is returned. We can go back and say, okay, stone, you should be um, whatever, limestone rough, I don't know if that was right or not. It wasn't, but you can see we can slowly add back colors to that. And if you have the original file, it's easy enough to go to the attribute manager, um, open up the original file here, and just you know append and send everything here over there and just rewrite it. So in some ways it is easy to undo. But what's cool is you can see that by unifying all your building materials here, um, we can start creating models that are doing something a little different than we're used to. Yes, it's heavy-handed. Uh, yes, it's hard to undo, but for a client meeting, doing a save as, or doing a save as and just doing some tests, super easy to do. Now, there's another way to do this too. I'm going to jump over to uh, this project, which you've probably seen before. Um, if we go to uh, renovation filter options, we go to um, renovation override styles, we could override all um, the surface appearance of all elements on the same renovation filter. And this will affect both objects and elements using building materials. So, for instance, if we go ahead and choose this CO9 for all existing elements, hit OK. Um, this model happens to have, wasn't using renovation filters, so when I hit OK, everything is going to change because everything's set to um, existing. So hit OK. And now this is something that's that's much easier to undo. Oh, uh, sorry, I got to do one other thing. Um, 
got to go back to uh, renovation and change um, choose a renovation filter that has override so I'm just gonna muck with this one so existing oh, is now override and our override as I said was CO9 hit OK now we'll see that everything is gonna change to that um, That unified color, which is actually kind of cool. That now you could show this to a client and really just talk about, you know, whatever you want to talk about and kind of put color aside because now this is feeling much more like a, you know, a basswood model. Um, we can step away from this though. So, you know, because we're using the renovation filters, we could say element type is all types choose one of our layers, say um, ground, hit the plus sign, I've just selected all those, and change the renovation filter of the ground plane to new. Oh, and let's go back to my renovation filters and make sure that we're showing new elements. So now what's going to happen is we've got this you know, single color model, but now the ground is colored. I don't know in what scenario you'd want this combination, but you can see by um, layer we can go through and, and make changes. Now, another thing we could do, um, say undo that, uh, you know, a problem with this as opposed to going by building materials is we lose our glass because um, the glass is on the same renovation, fill, or same renovation status as everything else. But what we could do is say element type is windows, uh, element type is doors. Now, if we hit plus, we're going to select all the doors, um, all the doors in the windows in this project, and we can change their renovation status to say new, to something that's not over overridden. And now we have a single color model but with, you know, colored windows and doors, so essentially, so things that are glass. Um, there's a glitch here because I have some things that are using morphs to create um, some of my window trim. But, you know, this is extremely fast to do, and it's just kind of using a, you could say, cludge of the uh, renovation status, so let's say, Let's go to something that's just nice and white. Um, but again, I, I hope you learned something from this. And as much as we want to be able to do all our visuals uh, within the, the process of creating our documentation and not have something orphaned, like having to bring it to another program and spend five hours in Photoshop doing a rendering, um, this technique to quickly just do a save as and mess with some global um, function of ARCHICAD to get a uniquely displayed model uh, offers some, some pretty powerful opportunities. So thank you very much. And if you enjoyed this video, think of subscribing. And also, since this is my first post-template release video, um, a lot of this stuff that I talk about, um, not necessarily in this particular video, but a lot of the stuff I talk about in my videos have all been condensed and implemented or will be implemented into the template I used, uh, which I now have available for free for anyone who wants on my blog. I'll provide a link to that as well. If you love it and you want to throw some support dollars my way, that's awesome, but I'm doing this because I want everyone to have access to some great template options for ARCHICAD. So thank you very much.